Mastery of Music Theory Book 3, Chromatic Harmonization by Brian Kalenbach Chapter 17, Secondary Diminished Chords Just as dominant seven chords can be used in a secondary function to strengthen the approach to a diatonic chord, so can diminished seven chords be used in a similar secondary function. As shown in this example, the leading tone triad can be built to the seventh in either a major or a minor key. Recall that this chord is half diminished, that is diminished minor seven in a major key, and fully diminished, diminished, diminished seven in a minor key. When we build half diminished seven chords, we build them with the structure of a diminished triad with a minor seventh. An alternate way of thinking of this chord is to build up the chord in thirds but to make sure that it is a minor third, and then another minor third, and finally on top, a major third. To build fully diminished chords, we build them with a structure of a diminished triad and then a diminished seventh. This is a completely symmetric chord, so another way to build this chord is to stack up in minor thirds. One minor third, and then another minor third, and finally, yet another minor third. The leading tone chords in either the major or minor key function as dominant, and the addition of the seventh makes their progression back to tonic particularly strong. Note the resolution of the leading tone as well as the chord tone seventh in this example. In summary, a leading tone seventh chord that resolves to a major tonic triad is built on a root tone one half step lower than the chord of resolution. It is half diminished, that is diminished minor seven in quality. It has a chord tone seventh that resolves stepwise downward. And it has a leading tone, that is the root tone, and that resolves up by a half step. Also in summary, a leading tone seventh chord that resolves to a minor tonic triad is built on a root tone one half step lower than the chord of resolution. And here it is fully diminished that is diminished, diminished seven in quality. It has a chord tone seventh that resolves stepwise downward. And again, has a leading tone, that is the root tone that resolves up by a half step. Now we can generalize this information to build chromatic secondary diminished seven chords that can lead to any major or minor diatonic triad. Remember that just as with secondary dominant chords, we would never use a secondary diminished seven chord to resolve to a diminished diatonic chord. For example, we may wish to strengthen the approach to a five chord by preceding it with a secondary diminished seven chord. Now, following the rules that we just summarized for approaching major triads, we will build the chord on a root tone one half step lower than the five chord and make it half diminished in quality by introducing a chromatic alteration. Note that the pitch one half step lower than the five chord 
is F sharp. So we build this secondary diminished chord off of F sharp and make it half diminished in quality. Also note the seventh resolving downward. To build a secondary diminished seven leading to a four chord in a minor key, we would follow the rules that we summarized for approaching minor triads since the four chord is minor. Build the chord on a root tone one half step lower than the four chord and make it fully diminished in quality. This will necessitate two chromatic alterations. Notice that in the key of C minor, the four chord is an F minor triad. Therefore, we will build this fully diminished chord on the pitch E, which is a half step lower than the F. Note how the E, which is an outer voice here in the bass, will resolve upward to the F, and also see the chord tone seventh, which is the D flat, resolving downward to the C. Now one additional possibility is to write a secondary diminished seventh chord with a fully diminished quality, even if it is resolving to a major triad. Composers are very fond of the strong sound and symmetry of the fully diminished seven chord and will often use it whether resolving to a major or minor chord. Remember that the structure of a fully diminished seven chord is a set of minor thirds that are stacked on top of each other. Below is an example of a secondary diminished seven chord with a fully diminished quality that is leading to a four chord in a major key. Here in the key of D, the four chord is G major, but still we will proceed it with a secondary diminished chord that is fully diminished. We build this secondary diminished chord on F sharp because F sharp is the pitch that's a half step lower than G. When it resolves, it will resolve a half step up. And again note that the chord tone seventh, in this case E flat, and the E flat in order to make it fully diminished, this E flat resolves downward as sevenths of chords should. Here is a short excerpt from Schubert's Symphony No. 8 that includes a secondary fully diminished chord as well as a secondary half diminished chord. Although the key signature has two sharps, the harmony is clearly in the key of G for this passage. Notice that in measure 96, Schubert uses a fully diminished chord as a secondary diminished moving to the two chord. As expected, the seventh in the upper voice resolves down stepwise, and the secondary leading tone in the lowest voice moves up stepwise. At the end of the following measure, that is measure 97, another secondary diminished chord is introduced, but this time it is half diminished in quality. A good choice, as the chord is resolving to a five chord in measure 98, that is major in quality.
Now in this excerpt, Mozart uses a wide variety of secondary diminished chords. Notice that in each case, whether resolving to a major or minor triad, he uses a secondary diminished chord that is fully diminished in quality. In this example, secondary fully diminished chords are used to resolve to 5 in measure 100. Notice the 5 chord is a C triad, and the secondary diminished has a root tone of B. Also, in measure 102, he's going to a 3 chord. Note that the three chord is A minor here in first inversion. And the secondary diminished has a root tone of G sharp. And in measure 104. Of course, in this case, this is not a secondary diminished chord. It's just a, a diminished seven chord, but it's fully diminished seven. The root tone of the one chord, of course, is F. And the 7 chord in this case, the 7 diminished 4-3, is built on E.